Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica and I'm a third year med student. In today's video, I'm going to be talking all about what I did to study for my surgery shelf. So my surgery rotation was actually the first rotation that I had of third year. So when I started, I was kind of feeling overwhelmed, like I didn't know what to do because I was so used to being in the classroom and knowing what resources to use and just being comfortable with my learning style. So when I started third year, I was kind of confused. I heard so much about a bunch of different resources. And to be honest, um, I think I used a little bit too many resources. I ended up using like six or seven resources, I believe. And I think that I could have stuck to just a few and been definitely all right with that and felt confident and comfortable. Um, but there was just so much uncertainty with entering a new school year and just learning from a different way, being in the hospital all day, that I definitely probably overdid it and used too many resources. But I will be talking about all of them just so you have an idea of which ones may or may not work for you. So the first resource that I had heard about and that I used was Astana's Surgical Notes. And uh, I thought that this was a really good, concise book to start with. It's really nice because it fits in your white coat pocket. So if you're ever on rotation and there's not really a lot going on, it's really easy to just pull out of your pocket and just start reading it. I really liked it because it gave a good overview of some really high yield topics. I will say definitely not enough detail to really do well on the shelf, so you can't use this as your only resource, but I liked it because it was a really easy read. I read it my first week of the surgery rotation. I just read it cover to cover and um, so I could have kind of a decent idea of some of the high yields information. I just liked it because it kind of gave me a little bit of a groundwork to work with. It showed me what areas I was weak in and where I need to read more and then what areas I was a little bit more comfortable in. So I definitely recommend reading this at least once, preferably early on in the rotation. The second resource I used was Online Meta, and there's a free version and then there's also a, a premium version that you can pay for, and you have more access to questions, videos, outlines, all that kind of stuff. Um, I am kind of cheap and um, I found that the videos were really helpful, so I actually just used the video. I didn't buy the membership or anything like that. There's three different major categories that fall under surgery. There's general surgery, subspecialty surgery, and then trauma. So I watched all the videos under all of those sections. The next resource that I used was NMS Surgery Casebook. And I can honestly say that you could probably do without this one. I read this entire book and I think I might have had an older edition because I feel like some of the information was definitely um, not as up to date as other resources that I used. So I did find some conflicts between different resources. I feel like they did hit some high yield topics. Um, but typically those topics were covered in other resources and then they usually went in a lot of detail that wasn't necessarily important for the shelf. So I just felt like this wasn't my favorite resource. I didn't feel like I really needed to read it. So if I could redo that rotation, I probably wouldn't even touch this resource. Not that it's bad, just that it's covered in some of the other better resources in my opinion. The next text that I used um, to read out of was for Helio. Um, and this one was really great. A lot of people had a lot of positive comments about it. I actually didn't hear about it until probably halfway or maybe even farther along into my rotation. So I didn't read any of it until the last, I think, two or three weeks of the rotation. Um, and I kind of, I just kind of read it like a story. It was a really easy read. It had a lot of really high yield topics. It was super easy to follow, well organized. It was probably my favorite resource, to be honest, because it had because it was both inclusive, but also really simple and easy to read. So um, I would probably recommend reading, starting to read that earlier on. I actually did end up reading the entire book and it was like 500 pages in like one or two weeks. I just kind of like sat and like read through it. I didn't take any notes. I didn't obsess about getting the details. I just wanted to be exposed to all the information. So I just kind of read it cover to cover um, in like a week or two. Um, and that was super helpful. I think that just reading through it actually gave me really good insight and understanding of everything and I didn't feel the need to take notes for that so that was great. So those were the main texts that I used to study from. I also used a few of their books for their questions. So I used pretest, a bunch of questions that are multiple choice just like a shelf exam. These questions were great but some of them weren't really falling within the realm of shelf specific questions so I felt like I was learning a lot more that wasn't necessarily relevant to the shelf exam. They were still good practice and I like to have high volume number of practice questions. Again, it's kind of one of those resources that I didn't really feel like I needed to use, but it didn't hurt me. 
I was happy that I had some extra practice questions to go off of, but if you don't get to go through the pre-test questions, I wouldn't feel bad about it. I don't think you'll be missing out on too much. Obviously, the best questions, I think, came from you world. Um, even though I don't really think the questions were the same difficulty level as you world, I think the shelf was much harder than you world. I still think that, again, you world gave a really good understanding and information um, about certain high yield topics in surgery. So I didn't take notes for Rogelio, but I did take notes for some of the other things I did. And so this contains notes from online med ed, as well as NMS casebook. And then I would throw in some things from Pistana as well. I just got a bunch of lined paper and then took my notes in this binder. If you've seen my other videos about how I studied for step and what resources I used and how I use them, then you know um, what I like to do with the world is I will get a notebook. And again, I use post-it notes to make just little tabs. I just, you can also buy the little tabs that you insert into a binder and use a binder instead. But I just got, I had an extra notebook, so I just used this. And then again, I would do all the surgery questions on random. I didn't pick specific organ systems or anything. I just put all topics under surgery. And so if you flip through this, basically what I did was I would label a section. So this section is orthopedics. And so every time I would get an ortho question, so something MSK like, I would just put the information that I didn't know in my notebook and then um, I would continue to do that. So if my next question, for instance, was about uh, ENT, that was my next tab. So I, anything ENT related, I would put in this section. And so since I did it in random, again, I kind of just had to skip a few pages before I started a new divider tab and then just enter my information as I got it when I was doing my questions. Um, and this is just kind of my favorite way to do questions because I feel like I need to take notes and write something down when I'm doing questions. Um, just like reading through them isn't really enough to help me solidify it. So I took notes in here and I did review these notes I think maybe twice before I took the shelf. The last resource that I used was the online MBME practice exam. I think they had four different exams for surgery and I ended up buying them all and doing them all. I think I did one three weeks out from the exam, another one two weeks out, and then the last two I did the week of my final shelf exam. And I liked that because it allowed me to track my progress, see how I was doing, um, and also continue to do a bunch of practice questions. Um, so I really liked that. I will say I do not think that the questions on the MEMEs were reflective whatsoever of the actual surgery shelf. I think the surgery shelf questions were much, much more difficult. Um, coming out of the test, I felt horrible, like worse than I felt coming out of my step exam. Um, but honestly, I do still think that the percentiles do correlate. I think that my grades on my practice and the ME exam definitely reflected how I did on the real shelf. And um, so I think that if nothing else, it's a really good way to track your progress um, and to practice kind of the timing of questions. But I do want to stress that I really felt that the shelf questions were a lot more difficult than the practice MBME questions. So those are the main resources I used, but then there was other studying that I did. So every single night, I would look at what cases I was going to scrub into for the next day or what patients I was going to have. Um, I just tried to get as much information as I could about the week or the following day at least. And then I would try to get as informed as possible. So if I knew there was a lap coli the next day, then I would read up all about the procedure, the indications, complications, um, you know, just everything I could possibly know about that procedure, I wanted to know. Not only studying for the shelf, but also preparing for different surgeries indirectly helps you prepare for the shelf. Timing for studying, honestly, I didn't really do too much focused, organized studying for the shelf exam until about six weeks into the rotation. Um, at my school, surgery is a 12-week rotation. I think only like eight weeks are actually spent on surgery because four weeks are our electives, so we can do different subspecialties and stuff like that. So I honestly waited till about halfway through the rotation to, before I really started to sit down and get serious about studying. I felt like I had tons of time. I definitely felt prepared going into the exam, even though I felt awful coming out of the exam. So I would say that, you know, 50% of your shelf time being spent on really focused hardcore studying for the shelf is plenty of time. Um, the first six weeks, it's not like I wasn't studying at all. It was more just I was focusing all my study on preparing for the next day's cases. 
So like I said, knowing what procedures were coming up, um, knowing whose service I was gonna be on, and reading as much as I could about those patients and their procedures and all that um, was good studying and also just a good way to be prepared for the rotation. And so the last six weeks, I really just kind of split it up based on um, organ system or topic. So for instance, um, during that last six weeks, the first week I really focused on trauma and pre-op stuff. So I finished going through all the topics, reading through all my resources, and going through all the UWorld questions about two weeks out from my exam. So then the last two weeks, I really focused on honing down on the high yield topics that I took notes on. So I reviewed my UWorld notes, which I think I went through this notebook twice, um, and just kind of reviewed the important concepts that I missed or didn't know from UWorld questions. And then I also reviewed the notes from the Spinder, which again, have all my notes from NMS Casebook, MedEd, Pistana, and I kind of just incorporated it all. I organized it again by different organ systems and topics. So for instance, this first section is on anesthesia, um, and so I just kind of review, reviewed through all these notes and then also that last two weeks like I said again um, I just read through for Helios again I didn't take notes I wasn't um, preoccupied with all the details just read through it during those last two weeks I felt pretty comfortable going in there um, based on my practice exam test and based on just having pretty good confidence in the content um, and then walked out feeling horrible but then got my score back a few days later and definitely felt good about it again so I think that um, for the surgery shelf, don't overload on too many resources. If I could redo it again, I would read Pisanas to begin with, do all the UWorld questions on surgery, and read through for Helio. And honestly, I don't think you need to do too much more than that. Online med ed was super helpful if you like videos, so I would pretty highly suggest watching those. But again, if you're reading through those other resources, you won't be missing out too much if you don't watch those videos. I do believe that MBME Practice exams are really helpful to track your progress, but again, the questions weren't exactly paralleling how the real shop questions were, so I would say that's not really a necessary resource. And pre-test and NMS casebook, I would say probably don't waste your time doing those. If you want more questions, definitely use pre-test, they're still good. I just feel like if you have limited time, you don't need to do them. And then NMS casebook, I felt like was definitely hit in all the other resources, and reading that in addition is a little bit overkill. If you have any other questions about what to do to study for the surgery shelf, go ahead and comment them below, and I'll try to get back to those as soon as I can. If you have any advice that I didn't hit on for the surgery rotation, then also comment that below, and I look forward to reading those as well. I hope you enjoyed this video about how to study for the shelf, and in the future, I'll probably be doing how to study for every other shelf. So the next one that I took was family medicine, so the next video about shelf studying that I'll upload is probably gonna be family medicine. So make sure you stick around for that one. Make sure to give this video a like if it helps you out, and subscribe to my channel because I upload new videos every Thursday.